Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about budget. Because you all know when you call me, we go through your room, you send me your room form that you filled out, and you're all doing great jobs on that. Make sure you include those pictures because all, text only can give us so much understanding. But when I see the text and then I see the picture, and then I hear your explanation when I'm on the phone with you, those three sources of information will be enough usually to get us to a point where we can figure out what the problems are. Okay, then the second part becomes budget. Okay, what kind of budget do I need for low, middle, and high frequency issues in our rooms? Okay, so the first thing we have to realize is that all big part of our budget in small rooms has to go to low frequency management. Now, I went back through our sales and, and um, design for the last three years, and I looked at the costs on average size rooms. And we're going to take rooms that are in our yellow zone, because I think this the red zone's too small to give you a really good idea. The green zone's a little bit too large. Only about 10% of, of our clients have rooms in that area. Most of our rooms fall in the yellow zone on our red, yellow, and green chart. So. If you have a room in the yellow zone, first thing we have to do in all rooms, obviously, is address the low frequency management. Now, what's our cost going to be? Our costs are based on where the problems are located in the room. And in the yellow zone rooms, it's always the front wall and the two side walls closest to the source. So if we have speakers, if it's a digital audio workstation, if it's two channel listening room, whatever the source of the energy is, the boundary surfaces close to the source are going to produce the highest pressure. So side walls and front wall. It's not just the corners of the room. Only 16% of our rooms show the highest pressure in the corners of the room. So that's kind of a half truth and the industry has perpetuated it as a truth, a whole truth. Well, put these products in the corner of your room. They do that for two reasons. One, you don't have anything in the corner of your room. And it's easy to think that, well, if I don't have anything, I can buy this product and put it in. Will it help? Of course it'll help. But will it solve or really treat the issues? No, because the pressure areas cover the whole wall. So you're really putting a Band-Aid on kind of an acoustical arterial cut, if you will. So yes, it'll help, but it won't really deal with the pressures that, that you're really going to have in those areas. 30, 40, 50 cycle pressure areas. So front wall and both side walls. This is 8 to 12 of our ACDA units. And at $900 a piece, you know, it's seven, dollars $8,000. And that was about the average cost to treat the front end, as we call it, of the room. Once you get the front end of the room managed, then you can work on the back end, which is diffusion and some more low frequency absorption. Diffusers are twice as expensive as low frequency management. Now, you know we have the DIY side. So we ran some numbers to help people with that out. And if you have a shop and you have two to three years of carpentry woodworking experience and you can do joinery, you can use a table saw and you can do all the things that are required, you have good work tables because our products are heavy to build. They're 200 plus pounds, most of them. So if you have the experience and the skill set to build them, you can save about 30% off that retail price. But then you got to decide on the cost of your labor. You know, how much is your time worth? Our products are not hard to build, but they have a lot of pieces, especially our diffusers. Just the carbon filter we put inside of our ACDA units has 25 pieces. So you got to decide, you know, trade off time, value, money, and all of those things. Plus, we can build them faster for you. And not to brag, but in 95% of the cases, because we build four or 500 a month, we can build them better for you. And we put any kind of finish you want on it. And we can get them to you in a couple of weeks. So a lot of issues to consider, but options are the most important thing for you. So everybody's a little bit different. So how about, that's low frequency. How about middle and high frequency? That's the cheapest of all in terms of absorption, because we can do that with foam. Average cost to do a room with foam, about $1,000. Diffusion, the third level, can get to be quite expensive. So our diffusers are all furniture grade quality, real wood uh, materials used through them, finished, you know, five coats of sealer and wet sanding. And, you know, they probably look better than most of the furniture in your house. 
But to do diffusion on a wall, you know, you're talking $10,000, $15,000 for one surface. Ceiling is a whole other issue. I've seen ceiling costs go 30, 40, 50,000 for diffusion. So budget, you know, you got to have that five to $10,000 range for the low frequency management, about a thousand for the middle and high frequency, 1500, somewhere there. And then diffusion is something that you can consider down the road. And that's obviously the most expensive. So I hope that helps give you some idea of what to plan for in terms of money. I always tell people, you know, a lot of people say, well, I only have a couple thousand dollars. And then I look at their room and I look at the usage and I look at the problems that they have. And the first thing I say to them is save your money. Get some more money so we can solve a bigger part of the problems because we have to have so much material in the room that you have audibility. You can hear the difference. You don't want to spend $2,000, put the products in and go, well, Dennis, I can't hear that much of a difference because we have to have reach points of critical mass in certain rooms. So we might have to have 60% or 70% of the wall surface area covered to really lower the reverberation times. So I'll be very honest and upfront with you. And if you don't have enough money to really treat the issues that you have, first thing I'll to do to you is to save your money and come back when you have it. And we can go from there. Hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video. And if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to. So please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.